Hi, my peepers. Welcome to a new episode of What's New in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. So today is November 1st, which means I will show you everything that I finished in the month of October. So, Nikki and I had done a buddy color on a Saturday, last Saturday. And we both chose this page, and I colored this, and I used, I forgot what pencils I used, I didn't mark it. I used pencils and marker, and I used Wink of Stella on the face. So... She didn't like how hers came out, and she ended up throwing hers out, unfortunately. But, yep, I did that on the 28th. That's when I did it, Saturday. We watched some movies together and chatted online. So there's that. Did I finish this page? Yep. And then I watched, oh, did I mark it down? I watched Rebecca the Book Nester on YouTube for the color scheme of this. And I used Stabilo Fine Liners in my Crayola Super Tip markers. That's all I used on this. I love how it came out. My eyes and my nose are a little bit different than hers, and she did use colored pencils in hers, but I wanted to use, like, the same um, color scheme that she did because I absolutely loved it. So I did that. I did the outline first all around, and then I filled it in with my black Stabilo fine liner while I watched TV, you know, just mindless type thing. So I did that first. And then when I had the time and when I watched her video, then I finished it. And I'm really pleased with how that came out. A lot of times I watch the YouTubes just to get color ideas because I'm not always good at picking colors. So I just, I happened to see her video on this and I'm like, yes, I want to do that. So that was done. And then I pulled out my Micah Jelena set number eight. And I worked on this page. And what did I use on this? Oh, I used my new Derwent Artist Pencils. I'll move this down a little so you can see her some more. And I wanted to see how well they blended. I love the hair. And the wings came out okay with blending. And then I used Wink of Stella on the snake. And on some of her wings. So I thought she came out really cute. So I did her. And... I did a page out of Molly Harrison Halloween coloring book, which is Vampires and Gats Galore. Now the colors are going to look funny because I did this as a week, it was a seven day color lawn in the adult coloring with Mama Loves to Color Facebook group. And each day she would give us one color. So you picked a page beforehand and then that day she would announce what color you were to use so I think I used a little bit of all kinds of pencils but yep that's how that came out and I did that on October 1st or I finished it on October 1st it started it was a seven day color lawn so you know seven days from the from October 1st <coughs> and you couldn't use any other colors although on the last day she did throw in you could use 
black and white, I think. And then, as you all know, we did the color lawn out of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween coloring book. I only did three pages because I was in Myrtle Beach during the one week. But this is... Okay, I can take that out. This is Halloween Cupcakes. Jessica from Jessica's Coloring Corner was the hostess that week. And what did I use? I used hmm, colored pencils, silver metallics, and I used Wink of Stella. Um, what did I use in the back? I used a uh, pearlescence um, stamping ink for the background. What did I use for the pencils? Prism I used Prisma colors and luminance. And then I used the Wink of Stella on the frosting and her eyelids. So those are what I used. And then this is Voodoo in the Bayou. And Anne Hatfield was the hostess for this. And I used Prismacolor pencils, acrylic paints, gel pens, and a Posca pen for the white. And then for my week, I did Queen of Halloween. I love how she came out. I've seen some others who painted this whole thing all black or one color instead of leaving the houses, and I really, really liked that. But I used acrylic paint. I used my polychromos. I used a marker here for the black and the bats, and I used a Posca pen for her eyes. So yeah, that's how she came out. And that is all I colored in October. Like I said, I was gone for 10 days, so I couldn't get as much color as I would have wanted to. But I'm happy with everything I got done. That's it for my October coloring. Hope you enjoyed this video. I try to do one every month of my previous month of what I colored. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I am blown away by all the different pictures you have colored uh, from this color lawn. I just, how everybody colors different, how everybody finishes. It was awesome. And the people I had chosen to pick for the winners of the of the the header of the week on the Facebook group. They had a tough time. They had a tough time picking their favorites. So um yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. And I can't wait for the Christmas slash winter color lawn. Like I said I know that um I have, I just put up a video for the Christmas slash winter color lawn. I know that Anne from A Colorful Life is doing it, is doing another one with Sharon. Um, so look for those and let's go busy. Right now, I am doing buddy colors all this month, um, one a week. And then in between the buddy colors, I'll find something else to color. Maybe more Halloween, um, fall type. But, yep, that's it. And I want to thank you all, all of you, for subscribing and viewing and leaving comments. I've gotten some really nice emails. Um, a lot of you have joined my Facebook group. And I can't do this without any of you. You, um, you have all touched my heart. I've gotten to become friends with quite a few of you. 
and I know I don't always get to you. A lot of you private message me on Facebook. And remember, there's only one of me and there's, I have over a thousand subscribers. So to me, it gets a little overwhelming once in a while. And I have to remember who some people are if I only hear from you once in a great while. So just bear with me. I'm doing my best. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you all. Bye.